My name is Karen Boone. I am Kayla Golke. It was in early 2000 that I was diagnosed with rheumatoid. I was diagnosed with RA at 18, so it's been quite the journey. I am in risk management and compliance for a finance company. I've been married 31 years in May. We have a family of three. I have an oldest daughter and then two sons, and I have five grandkids. I'm a nurse at the Children's Hospital, and it's definitely been helpful learning and growing, seeing kids with chronic conditions. I think when people think of rheumatoid arthritis, they think of an elderly person with fingers that are crooked or in a wheelchair. They don't think of a 35-year-old woman with a young family working as a nurse in a hospital. Honestly, when I was 18 and I was told I had that, that's what I pictured, and it was terrifying. At the age of 15, I had um, started having some, some difficulties with using my right arm, some walking difficulties, find out that I had like a small, mild, mini stroke. And it took a long time because at that time, many medical physicians didn't know much about a lot of the autoimmune illnesses. So it took several years of me going through testing when I was finally diagnosed with Sjogren's Syndrome. And then they started looking more so into lupus. And that's what I was diagnosed with at the age of 16. Luckily, I ended up going to another rheumatologist. After I started going to him, it was in early 2000 that I was diagnosed with rheumatoid. Autoimmune wasn't new to me. My dad had a rare autoimmune vasculitis. He was in a wheelchair a lot of my life, so it wasn't new to me to have someone that was ill or had a chronic condition. I was a freshman in college. I woke up one morning and couldn't move my hands. Some of my fingers were stuck straight. It was painful, but the joints wouldn't move. I went home for fall break. My mom took me to the doctor and they ran some labs. The doctor called us back in and he told me, you have rheumatoid arthritis. I remember sitting there just feeling like I was just handed a death sentence. Forget nursing school, forget life, forget getting married, forget having kids. That's what it felt like at 18. And I just thought, what is my life gonna be? When the doctor gave me my diagnosis, it really was a sense of relief because you knew things weren't right. Once I was diagnosed, it gave me a name to what I could deal with. We were ready to start with a plan to treat it and for me to see some relief. Thank goodness I had the right medical team who did set me up with Paragon that I was able to, you know, get treatment and start on medication to help reduce some of the progression of the illness. Before Paragon living with RA, it did feel horrible at 18 years old. What does my future look like? I first heard about Paragon through my doctor's office. The doctor that I started seeing there, the shots that I was taking of a medicine weren't working anymore. So she's like, you know, let's try this other medicine. You'll go to an infusion center. Sent me to Paragon and it was fantastic. Multiple nurses, they had a nurse practitioner on staff, just making sure everything was fine with you before you get your infusion. And honestly, get there, get your infusion, get out, get on with your life. <laughs> I've been a patient of Paragon for more than 10 years. It's so convenient being here. It's just a, a different comfort level. For people newly diagnosed with uh, rheumatoid arthritis, I would just offer them hope, especially people that are young, kind of how I felt when I was newly diagnosed. I will say my dad, being the chronically ill one, was like, I have a great life. Honestly, him saying that, I'm sick sometimes, but I have a great life. You can do anything you want to do. It's not a life sentence. I would have never thought 17 years later I had this wonderful, beautiful life, beautiful children, a family, a job as a nurse. I would have never thought that 17 years ago. The one thing I like to share is just uh, a scripture that I like reading, Lamentations 3 and 23. His mercies are new every morning. Just the way that I think about dealing with rheumatoid, dealing with my physical disabilities at times, knowing that every day is a new beginning, regardless of what you went through the day before. My name is Karen Boone. I am Kayla Golke, and, and I am Paragon, Paragon Proud. Proud.